Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we're we'll to be building the Thomas and Friends Express Coaches. Now, this is commissioned by a troublesome truck, and it's the second part of his commission. And I built here two colors: the green coaches pulled by Gordon, and the red coaches, I think, pulled by uh, James. Uh, so yeah, they're basically the same coach, and this is the standard one in the CGI version. In the old series, they do have a version where the other side has more narrower windows. Uh, but I'm going to go stick with the new one, since it's a lot uh, cooler in my opinion and easier to build. Since it's the same on like both sides. And right here in the back, we also have a brake coach. So you could stick this at the end of your trains. So yeah, this is also uh, paired with like an updated Gordon model. I did change up the design a little bit to make it his cab a little bit shorter and his tender a bit taller. So he does look a bit different. But anyways guys, uh, let's get started on this build. So first thing we do is take a great concrete, put that uh, three blocks above the track. So one, two, three. And we're gonna make it three blocks wide. Right here in the middle and 41 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 and do the other one alongside just the same thing so i'm going to make the default one first and then we're going to modify it to a brake coach if you want to add that to the back of your train so yeah this is just the flooring and on the sides we're going to take another brick stairs and add it we're going to skip this corner actually and just add it right here all the way in the middle and I believe it's like some sort of a step to go up like before in the prototype version I had it as a single block but I don't think I think you could add a little more detail than just a block so this is a lot better in my opinion to the other side I also um my W key is still broken so I'm still waiting for that to come in the mail so maybe a little bit um slow in moving forward Come on, let's do that. All right. And also, we need to take out the front corners. And the corners, we're going to place a piston. And this is going to be for the, what's it called? <laughs> it actually, it doesn't even connect. That's pretty funny. But I don't think it matters because this thing doesn't even move. So it's just for decoration. The buffers, that's what they're called. So then we're going to put uh, levers down here in the middle uh, just so we can extract these buffers out. Do the same thing on the other side. If I can move forward. Bam, bam, and add the levers. Pull it down. And we can also add a um, lever in the middle on the side right there. And that's for the coupling chain. And just have it on both sides. All right, so now we're gonna add the faces, which are like this. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So five by five. That's like a square. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way across. And these coaches, they're actually um, non-corridor coaches, so you can't really move between the coaches while the train's moving. See, it's just a flat face. Then on top, let's add three blocks in the middle. Go do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Fill in the face. And then three in the middle on top. And then we're gonna connect the three in the middle of the ceiling or the roof from the front to the back. Gonna take us a while to get there. <laughs> Especially my W key's broken. Come on. Alright, 
let's go do this side. All right, so that is that center part of the roof and the sides of the roof we'd use in nether brick slabs. So just line up the sides of it, going all the way back. And I know people have been waiting for this tutorial for a very long time. So I'm glad that uh, Troublesome Truck commissioned this or else I would have done this. It would be a long time before I did this. Move it along and come on, go back. All right, so uh, we're done with that section. Now let's add a sandstone uh, row down here underneath the nether brick slab all the way across. And I guess the next thing after this would just add the green stripe for the coaches. And you could make it red if you want it, uh, the other coach instead. I don't really know if there's any difference, maybe just because the color of the line. But yeah. So let's add the green concrete. Uh, it's going to be two blocks tall, so make it like this. pretty continuous and the design for this is actually pretty simple since it is a CGI one you don't have to worry about those narrow windows they all look pretty big to me so that was like one part that was confusing me but then I realized just watching over the CGI they just have the same thing on both sides so that's a relief I don't have to worry about it Alright, so after we do that, uh, let's take out a black stained glass block and. Uh, we're actually, never mind, we're gonna use sandstone instead. So let's place a sandstone pillar right here, skip a block, sandstone pillar, and then skip three, sandstone pillar. And then we're gonna pretty much repeat this pattern where there's like a door, and this is supposed to be a window. I need to get out of here first move out there we go so there's gonna be a door right here then a window that's wide and then a door window that's wide etc so just keep on repeating this pattern so here's another door another window and then a door window and door just keep on doing this I hope no one gets confused by this. And it should end like this. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And just match it up. Alright, so now let's take a black stained glass block, fill in this, these holes, so that's pretty much the same for both the windows and the doors. In the CGI one, the window, the door windows are actually kind of smaller than the regular windows, but uh, I think it looks better like this. Go to the other side, just fill in the exact same thing. Alright, so after we do that, let's take out our stone button and add door handles. So the door handles, I place them on the right side of each door, so uh, they're going to look like this. So we go to our first door, place it on the right. Second door, place it on the right. Third door, same thing. And it goes on and on and on. Go to the other side and pretty much do the same thing on the right. Like 
like this. And the only time it changes really is in the break coach, which we're not making right now. Alright, so now let's take out our Wither Skeleton Skull, add these bumps on top. Uh, so the first bump, it's going to be in the middle of the first window. Let me just place it right this. Uh, doesn't matter which way you're facing it, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to leave a space of four between it. So one, two, three, four. Place another one. And uh, just keep on repeating this pattern for... One, two, three, four, place a block, place a block, one, two, three, four, place a block. And it should look like this towards the last window in the middle. So that should be seven of these bumps on top in total. And next, let's work on the bottom. So this is the last part of the coach so we need to make this thing these bogies and to make it we're going to take gray concrete and stone brick stairs so we're going to take the gray concrete and we're going to place it huh this is actually more complicated than I thought it would be you need to line it up with the middle in between the first window and the next door and in that pillar we're going to place that block in the middle so right here line it up and then add one in front of it actually add is that three blocks or two okay so all right so it it is two blocks that's good so two blocks and then we're gonna uh, extend that I believe so it's like a two by three like that And then we're going to take stone brick stairs and add these uh, wheels on the sides, like in the front and the back of it, like that. So that's one. Just make another one right here. And another one in the front of that. Try not to activate the anvils by crouching. That really helps. And this wheel. All right, so that's the wheel, and then let's go to the other side of the coach. I think it's pretty much the same thing. So you go in the middle between the first window and the next door. You add one in the middle like that. And then you go one towards the end of the coach. So that's just like a two by three again. Then let's add the wheels in the front and the back of the coach all right and the back Alright, so that's our basic wheel, and I would have left it there, you can see the prototype one, that's what I did, but I decided to add some more detail using nether brick. So this is going to be nether brick stairs and nether brick slabs. There's four nether brick slabs on the bottom half like this, then two on the ends, and nether brick stairs in the middle facing outwards like this. And that's pretty much the design that I came up with with the bogey. And we're going to use that on all four corners of the coach. There was a lot of versions of this, by the way. And I had to pick one to be the best. And this is what I think looked the best to me. You don't have to do it in order. You can do stairs first, slabs, whatever you prefer. All right, so yeah, that is the bogies. And also, one more detail, we need to add a little box in the middle. Uh, so we're gonna go to the middle of the coach. 
Uh, there should be six windows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. So after the um, the third window, there's going to be a door in the middle. So this is like the exact center. And we're going to make a two by... Actually, we're just going to make a one by three right there in the middle. Like this. And it is going to be a bit asymmetrical. So one side is going to touch the middle of the next window. While the other side goes to the whole end of that other window. So just be aware of that. So I made it so, yeah, the first half. Like this is Gordon right here. So this is like the front part of it. That's going to be in the middle right here. It's going to line up. So just line it up like so. And the next one uh, on the other side, this window, it's going to be lined up towards the end like this. It's not a big difference if you miss, mess it up, but it's just a little detail I noticed. All right, so yeah, uh, that is it for the first coach of the express coaches. Now let's make the brick coach. So we're going to modify this a bit. It doesn't take that much modification, but we are going to um, remove some stuff. So there will be four windows in the front. So one, two, three, four. And after the fourth window, there will be a door right here and a secondary smaller window, I believe, like this. So it'll look like that. And I guess we could just remove everything after it. Like this. Take out the stone buttons too. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Just remove this section. Fill it in with sandstone, uh, smooth sandstone blocks. Take out the stone buttons. And we'll be left with this. Now we're going to add these uh, twin doors in the back for the brake coach. And they're going to be placed uh, two blocks. We're going to skip two blocks of sandstone. So skip two, and then add the window. Skip two, actually skip one, add another window. So it's going to look like that. I just broke that by accident. And uh, do the same thing on the other side punch out these holes and place a black stained glass block inside of it like so same thing on the other side and we're going to place a stone button in the middle so that's going to be our double door uh, <laughs> ha door handles right down there in the center and yeah I believe that is pretty much it on how to build the Thomas Friends Express Coaches now, if you want to make the red coaches, it's the same exact thing. Just change up the color. And yeah, thanks again to um, Troublesome Truck for commissioning this build. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you hadn't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.